Hello people, I'm Jabby Kawe, joined by Nikki Neal, and we're gonna look at Game of Thrones X Avengers, an Indian tribute instrumental by Joe Auervo. I was asked to do this by Joe Auervo, and uh, yeah, I'm, I have no idea what we're in for, but uh, let's check this out, here we go. I think that was, I mean, they, they brought in the Avengers towards the end, which is a very smart way to, because YouTube's got all these things with algorithms and whatnot, and the whole thing is, can you keep your audience, audience's attention? Can Are you, you not entertained? Yeah, like, they measure retention as a means of, like, ranking you and whatnot. Because the Avengers thing came in towards the last quarter of it, people are waiting for that. Yeah. They're watching and like, where's the Avengers? And then finally happens, and it's so satisfying when it finally happens. Like, it was see, like beautifully. It was beautifully yeah. like it shifted nicely. Right. I thought at first it was gonna be like, kind of like a little bit of Game of Thrones and a little bit of Avengers, yeah. a little bit of Game of Thrones and a little bit of Avengers. You know, mix a mash. But that, I thought, like you said, that was very pretty. I was really, I was like, honestly, I was like, do I is that Avengers? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, do I remember yeah. what this sounds like? Yeah. Am, am I a real? Am I a fan? Like, oh, we just lost a light. 
I'm so sorry. Hold on one second. We got a light. We got a light. <laughs> now we're now we're super late. We probably look much brighter than we did a second ago. All I was trying to say with the retention is that like because they brought in Avengers later, now it reflects well on their algorithm because people are watching the whole thing. It's like well we're most of the way through this damn video, so we'll watch the whole thing now. And they, and they did a good job. It wasn't as um, epic as as I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a much more theatrical, you know, a much bigger sound, but it was more like almost sorrowful yeah. in a way. The but way I mean, Game of Thrones is super like kind of depressing yeah, anyways. It's super emo. And yeah. Avengers at the end is kind of really depressing too. <laughs> so I thought that take was good and I thought it was funny how you were like, oh, that's supposed to be Jon Snow. I was like, oh, that, yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> he has long black hair and he's dressed in, you know, wool. Right. That is Jon Snow. No, I mean, inherently I knew that it was like a Game <laughs> of Thrones thing, but I didn't like register that it was Jon Snow, like the get up until well into the video. I was like, oh, duh. But now it's there. I see it. The now. sound was beautiful. Like yeah. I think instrumental sound is kind of like underrated. Music makes movies. Or just like you know, Game of Thrones. Their in their intro changed. Like everyone started doing you know Game of Thrones type of theme intros after that. I don't know if you've noticed, but even um, I don't know if you like history um, shows or stuff. Or have you ever watched The White Queen? No. Okay, well, anyways, maybe your viewers have watched The White Queen or The White Princess. The White Queen came before Game of Thrones and The White Princess came after the Game of Thrones and the entrance to The White Princess was very Game of Thrones-esque. Oh, okay. It had like the whole, you know, how the entrance of it is like animated and things like come up on the floor of the ground and you switch around this um, this map scene. It had that, that essence to it and shows alike. If you really go back and you notice, like it changed how TV, you know, does their entrances and like, it, it, I think that's beautiful. Uh, I think TV shows in general, whoa, I lost my voice for a second. <laughs> TV shows in general used to have longer openings and then they just shortened it and shortened it. Like if you go back and watch Break, Breaking Bad's just... intro, Breaking Bad's got the shortest intro of any TV show I've ever seen. And, and a lot of TV shows were doing that for a long time. Like you said, Game of Thrones sort of brought it back and Netflix, uh, started doing it with like Daredevil and their various shows, is essentially in the same vein as Game of Thrones. I think you're right. But that's it, what it, I mean. It, it, it did it, have an it impact. It trickled down because that yeah. that like showed that the audience does want that and yeah. that the audience loves that because the Game of Thrones just the soundtrack in itself is beautiful. Right. Like, it's breathtaking. I'm pretty sure the first like three seasons, I definitely watched the intro every episode. If you go back and watch American cartoons though from like the 90s, they used to have long intros like that all the time. Tailspin, <laughs> Tailspin. Ed and Nitty. Yeah. <laughs> Darkwing Duck, like all, all those shows, Batman, the original Batman, Batman Beyond, like all of them had like long cool intros. I, they weren't on the level of Game of Thrones where they were definitely just kind of showing you what was going on in the show. SpongeBob. But Rats. Uh, oh my gosh. So, 90s. Uh, I'm going to say I liked this. I'm giving this an upvote. Yeah. I did like this. However, I think I would have appreciated seeing them discreet. Seeing like a Game of Thrones video and an Avengers video. I don't Kinda know. Kind of like the outfits I think would have helped or like a scenic. Well, they had the Thor, the fat Thor on the <laughs> I'm sorry if that was offensive to the dude who drummed. Um, he's I probably thought, watching I thought this and he's was, like, I thought that was very like. Like, good though, because Thor did, you know. But I don't know if he looked at himself as fat, that guy on the drums. I feel bad now. But anyway, look, we can just redact that from this, from the, uh, from the record. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna get transcribed. Anyway, they could have made um, a discreet Game of Thrones and a discreet uh, Avengers. And the Avengers theme could have had, like, all the nuances of the Avengers theme and then gone to that sorrowful place like they did here. The merging of it is still cool, but I think it would have been neat if they really, like, interwove it a little bit more. Oh, Unless they did what so you were great. thinking, because you were thinking the exact same thing I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> all right, is it there? And I just don't... No, like... I was like, I was, it was, I was like, okay, it's been going on for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, am I, am I really not... <laughs> Uh, I thought I was an Avengers fan. Yeah, I thought I was. I'm definitely a Game of Thrones fan. God damn, I hear that Game of Thrones fan. That, that theme, like nobody's business. <laughs> I like the way it was shot as well. This is a stupid, like, guy who, filmmaker thing. But, like, I would have played with the contrast and the colors a little bit. Maybe play, touched up the saturation. Just to, like, give it some more, like, punch. Uh, maybe they did, and I'm just not appreciating the, the punch that is there. But I think it would have been neat to do that. Maybe do a little, little bit more movement with the camera. Now, this is just for, like, next time if you guys shoot some more stuff. Yeah. Like, this is stuff I recommend that you experiment with. But um, the essence of it's really pretty. Just yeah. the simplicity of just, like, you guys, you know, on your instruments. Because yeah. that's really hard, and it's really beautiful. Yeah, you're not going to know this reference. But, like, I feel that this is probably strongly inspired by Tushar Lal, 
who does a lot of these kinds of videos. If you guys haven't seen Two Charlotte stuff, I'm sure you have. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen Two Charlotte stuff. Uh, he's a buddy of Jabby's. So uh, check out Two Charlotte stuff. There'll be a link for that in the description. I'm sure as this video is ending right now, you'll see a button with a Two Charlotte reference as well. So uh, be sure to check him out. Check out Nikki Neal on social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. Also, thank you again to Joe Auervo for making this video and allowing us to react to it and recommending it to us. I very much appreciate it and look forward to more of your content. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Nick and Neil. Peace out.